Here we have probably one of the most iconic pairings of chairs ever. This is the egg chair designed by Arnie Jacobson and the swan chair, both designed by Arnie Jacobson. The characteristics between these chairs are very similar. This is an anniversary egg chair that we launched in 2008, along with the anniversary swan chair, again launched in 2008. You will see from the leather we use that there are no joins. It is one piece of leather on the front of the chair. So you should see no splits in the leather and interior stitching other than where the seat pad goes on the chair. Very old models didn't have a seat pad, but all recent models will have one. You will see the red tag Fritz Hansen on the seat pad. Old models do not have this, so don't worry if you see one without it, but it will have Fritz Hansen on the base. If we look at the base, you will see the raised Fritz Hansen name. You will also see a serial number, which is connected to this chair alone. On each piece, you will receive a credit card slip, which will have that serial number on it, denoting to that chair. So if it's ever lost or stolen, you can register that chair online. The egg chair has an adjustment handle on the side to adjust the tension for reclining. You can make it more firm or easier to recline just by turning the handle. A lot of them don't recline at all because that's quite an expensive mechanism to put in. So some copies, if not all, don't recline. If they do recline, you have no control over that with a handle. But that's not to say that other copies won't enter the market with a handle. You just need to look for the other Fritz Hansen characteristics. The look of the chair are very unique, both swan and egg, very sleek designs. A lot of copies are very fat and bulbous, and you lose a lot of the look on the copies. A lot of egg copies, the stitching will be in a very obscure place, a couple of inches sometimes down the back of the chair rather than at the edge. The stitching on the egg and the swan are all done by hand, apart from the seat part. So you will get a wave effect of the stitching. You won't visibly see any stitching at all, but you will see a wave effect where the stitching is done. This is unique to the egg chair, but also necessary when stitching such thick fabric through foam. You will get this wave effect, which adds to the beauty of the chair. Copies, you will see occasionally actual stitching in very weird places. It will be very crude and rudimentary stitching. You will not be able to pinch any fabric or leather between your fingers. It's very tight. Around these curves, we maintain the effect of no ruching or, or uh, creasing. So you can see that there's a perfect curve of fabric around these. Copies will have a lot of creases. Unfortunately, a lot of the images you will see on copies when advertised will be our images, but you will not be receiving a Fritz Hansen chair. Um, so be careful. The leather is one piece. We use two hides when using leather on an egg chair, one for the front, one for the back. It's fixed at the front, so it's actually fixed to the chair, but on the reverse, it's loose, but it's pulled tight, so you still won't be able to pinch any fabric or leather. You will notice also a very smooth rotation of the chair in 360 degrees, and you can see that just by turning the base, it will turn smoothly. You would not experience this on a fake. The feet on the swan and the egg are the same. Some copies will have discs. They, will, they can even have more legs. They can have five or even six points to the legs. They can also be sitting a lot lower than an egg chair. Copies will come from China predominantly and will range from anywhere between four and 500 pounds. Italian copies are just as bad, um, but they range from anywhere between six 100 and 800 pounds. They are very difficult to find in stores of any credibility, but you will see a lot of these online. A lot of the chairs also enter the UK with no fire retardant foam, so you need to be careful there. Look for fire labels. The copies probably won't even have them. And they're actually illegal to import into the UK, but they do it anyway. You're buying an original chair Try not to confuse it with a copy. They do their best to confuse you, but they don't put Fritz Hansen on the chair.